How to get a tight vacuum on high moisture proteins using the A100 vacuum sealer. Once you have the bag loaded, it's important to make sure you have at least three inches or so of headspace. This is going to allow the vacuum sealer plenty of room to withdraw the air using the embossed texture as highways in the bag. Also, you wanna make sure that your seal area is clean and free of any moisture or residue that would make the opening of the bag stick together. That's also gonna prevent uh, the air from properly being sucked out of the bag. Once you have the bag cleaned, we'll go ahead and place it over the seal bar. Close the lid. We're gonna press the auto vacuum seal button, which is the start button. Have our seal time setting to three. And as the air works out, you will notice that the bag may begin to stick to your protein, which is also going to probably prevent uh, air from being sucked out. So what we suggest is to kind of massage the air out of the bag as it's going through the vacuum process. And you'll notice that you have a nice tight vacuum on the bag. The chicken or your whatever protein you're vacuum sealing will still be squishy. It's not a dry good, so it will never get hard, but it will be uh, still remain squishy. And you'll notice you do have a nice tight vacuum on the bag. The A100 is also popular for vacuum sealing fresh fish. Uh, so whenever you're doing fresh fish, uh, it can tend to get a lot of moisture and a lot of residue on the bag. Again, just like the chicken, this will cause uh, the bag to stick together and not be able to pull a, an adequate vacuum. So again, make sure the opening of the bag is clean. And this might be a little bit harder to clean because that residue is pretty thick. So go ahead, place it. Make sure you have plenty of headspace, room in the bag. Press your start button. Massage any air out if it needs to be as it's vacuuming. This one looks pretty good. Again, you have a soft product, but it's fully vacuum sealed.